Today's movie is awesome. It can be called the most brain-burning horror film. Many people even feel that the degree of brain-burning in the island of confinement is not even close to this movie. The infinite loop of the plot makes people really enjoy watching. The movie starts off very straightforward, with the female lead Jess holding her autistic son, whispering to reassure him that it was just a bad dream and saying that she was going to be late. She sets about packing up her things. She picks up a promotional toy and wipes away her son's spilled paint. She heard someone ring the doorbell and went out to see that no one was there. She packs her clothes for the appointment. She meets Victor at the pier at 8.30. Jess arrived at the pier alone, without her son. There were six people on the trip. During the cruise, Jess slept and had a nightmare that she was at the beach, then woke up and went on deck to talk to Victor. But the boat didn't sail long before the wind stopped and there was a big dark cloud ahead. Because it was so outrageous. Victor asked the coast guard for help. A girl suddenly appeared to ask for help. She said help me. They are dead. And then there was no response. Then the storm hit. One of the people out of the scene not long after the death of. The pace is a bit fast. The other five people are fine. Sitting on the scrapped boat. Then a cruise ship came to them and everyone was happy to see that the savior had come. They saw a person on the boat, but this person was not enthusiastic, turned his head away, went on the cruise ship. How to shout no one responded. At the same time there was a peekaboo view of the camera. This made people feel scared. Jess, who had been in a trance, said she felt like she had been to this place before. Victor said the cruise ships are similar, and then with other small partners to study the cruise ship. The cruise ship named Elis is the father of Sisyphus the god of wind in Greek mythology. Sisyphus because of failure to comply with the promise of death, was punished to push a boulder to the top of the mountain. The boulder never reached the top of the mountain and then rolled down the mountain, so repeatedly pushed the stone. Chatting, suddenly came a sound. Jack went over and found a set of keys on the ground, and it was actually Jess's, and there was a picture of her son on it. Then we wandered into the ballroom, where there were fruits and musical instruments. Victor said it was now 11.30, and Jess's watch, like the ship's clock, was stopped at 8.17. At that moment, Jess saw a figure. Jack rushed over. Victor also intended to go over to see. Let the couple stay here. Jess followed, thinking that Jack was in danger. Then the two went into a room and found a mirror with blood written on it to go to the theater. Jess was surprised and said she wanted to go back to the ballroom and get off the ship. Jack is still looking for the mystery man, while the couple said they were also going to the theater. On the way, she also saw bloodstains. She arrived at the banquet hall and found that they were not there and the fruits were all broken. At that moment, Jack, covered in blood, came over. Jess went up to her, and Jack grabbed her by the neck. Jess struggles and finds a hole in the back of his head, and accidentally kills him. At the same time, there was a gunshot. Jess arrived at the theater and found Victor shot. Anna shouted, you shot him. Jess looked confused and said, I did not. Donnie asked, why did you want us to come to the theater? Jess continues, I didn't. Anna said, you're really crazy. Just finished shooting again. The couple was shot one after another. The attacker is a masked man. The masked man chases after Jess and Jess gets the upper hand in the struggle. The masked man says, they'll be back. You have to kill them. It's the only way to get home. And jumps off. Jess heard a piece of music and went into the house. In a few moments, they really came back. It's no one else. It's his former self and his little friend. Here to Jess number one. The following boat called no, two, no, one looked at the people below and left. Do you remember the scene? From here on, the loop is closed. No, one listened to them repeat the story of pushing the rock, instantly broke down, then lost the key, and then came to the ballroom was seen by no, two. She ran to the deck and found Donnie's body. That's when Jack pushed the door out. Does this door still ring a bell? Seeing no, one, he said, why are you running so fast? Number one tells Jack that there's another self and shows him Donnie's body at sea. Jack said, I just came from Donnie's. No. One pulls out an apple and smashes it. The bird flies away and there is no Donnie. Then she tells Jack again that you will die. Jack ignores her and number one pulls him in excitedly to explain. A push and shove. The hole behind Jack appeared. It turned out that Jess had killed him. No. One is devastated and scurries to a place where he finds her riding all over the floor. If they get on the ship, kill them all. She also saw the masked man's clothes and gun. That's right, the masked man was her. Two, she found the necklace dropped on the lid. And when she looked closely, a pile of necklaces underneath. When she looked, her necklace also fell off. It seems that this cycle is the nth time. The couple saw the blood was also Jack's. Jack walked to the banquet hall after taking the gun also rushed over. That's when number two also came. No, one and no, two men head on. It seems that it's not a complete cycle. 
there will be variables, but she couldn't do it to herself. At that moment, there was another gunshot, which meant that there was a number three. Jess and Victor are still dead. Number one shot at number three and got hit in the head. The couple is a bit confused. Number one explains that things are repeating themselves and she gives them the gun and tells them to shoot whoever comes along. After saying that she walked away. No. Three takes off her mask, tricks the couple into trusting her, takes them to a small room, and kills Donnie and stabs Anna while they're not expecting her. Anna flees in a hurry, dragging her wounded body. That's when number one came and Anna was terrified. She couldn't believe anyone and found a place to send out a cry for help. The same one she heard before. Help me. They are dead. These closed loops are really powerful. No. One still found Anna. And there are already lying all over the body. All Anna. See here really admire. No. One took off his clothes to Anna. She said. Just now not me. At that moment she heard a sound. Put her eyes and saw her other self knocked herself to death and threw her overboard. Immediately after. Anna also died. They came back. No. One looks down at herself looking at the ship and suddenly realizes that when people die they start all over again. Remember that voyeuristic view? The film's buildup can be. Everywhere is detail. No. One saw her other self. She explains as she kills Jack by mistake. No. One comes to Jack and says I know how to save you. People die and start over. So. No. One is about to go on a killing spree. She comes to the small room and sees the murder Donnie with her name written on the glass. No. One changed the word to go to the theater. She immediately pushes Donnie overboard and comes to the ballroom and tells the couple to go to the theater. Meanwhile, she puts on a masked suit and brings a gun and decides to kill Victor first. Victor knew she was just through the masked man's shoes, but was still killed. Then she kills the couple as well. She and the other Jess carried out the beginning of the fight cycle and repeated that part. They came back and killed them all. Then she fell and washed up on the beach and ran back home. She suddenly found the time back to the morning. At the window, she saw her son. And she saw herself. She saw herself getting mad at her son for throwing his sailboat toys around. The son sees another mother and spills his paint in surprise. Number one rang the doorbell to lure herself out. Then took a weapon and knocked herself to death. Just in time to be seen by the son again. There is the opening scene of comfort. It was just a nightmare. She packed her clothes and put the body inside and put on her necklace, then drove her son out with her and said she would never be mad at you again. She hit and killed a bird on the road and found a pile of birds underneath when she threw it away. She thought she had escaped the cycle, but it turns out it was still just part of the cycle. Number one says she has to get out of here, and then the crash happens. At this point, a band passes by and number one is fine. A black man next to her comes up and says he's a driver. No. One says he has to go to the pier. The driver drops off and asks, you'll be back. Won't you? No. One promised. I will. She arrives at the dock and starts the initial loop again. This is the end of the movie. Here's the breakdown. First of all, remember the Greek myth on the ship. Sisyphus was punished for breaking his promise to death by pushing the rock over and over again for an eternity. And Jess is also punished to repeat the cycle over and over again. Let's start with this car accident. From Jess's unharmed. It is reasonable to understand that the soul is dead and out of the body. The driver is the god of death or ferryman type. Jess wanted to say goodbye to her friend at the pier before going to the underworld. The driver said, you will come back, right? Jess promised, but never came back. The same as Sisyphus broke the promise with the god of death. So the question is, why did she never come back? Let's take a closer look. Jess is in a trance after seeing Victor. She has a memory at this point. Just a short time ago. She had experienced Victor's death several times, so the first thing she said when she saw him was that she was sorry. When she saw that people had come back to life, she thought that maybe she could save her son by going to sea again. But what she didn't expect was that she would lose her memory after a sleep at sea. After that, the plot is an infinite loop, so no matter how many times she starts over, she will finally break her promise to death and choose to go to sea. Because she is a mother who loves her son deeply. Even if she once accepted the reality and gave up going to sea and went to the underworld with death, then the cycle will end. So, we should not expect to be able to start over again. It will be better. In fact, when you have made a certain wrong decision before, no matter how many times you are allowed to start over, you will still make that decision. The loop in the movie is actually a world of small loops interspersed with big loops. The big loops refer to Jess returning to town, having a car accident and choosing to go to sea. The small cycle refers to the cycle on the cruise ship. There are actually three Jess on the cruise ship at the same time. Jess will have amnesia after going to sea. She is just on the cruise ship is low level. Experienced companions were killed, 
she is still very confused. She is chased by the masked man and finally kills the masked man back and finds things repeating themselves. When everyone died, a new group of people came back. At this point she tries to protect the group from being killed, but in the end she can't change the end of the deaths. And as she witnessed her lower self kill her higher self, a new group came. At once she realized that she had to kill everyone to get home, and decided to start killing everyone. She will be upgraded to high level, which is Jess with the mask. If the low level is 1, the medium level is 2, and the high level is 3. The trajectory of 1 and 3 is the same, because 3 is the blackening of 1. The only difference is 2. So why would 2 be different? Remember the scene in the hall where the 2 Jess met? 2 found out this series of strange things in advance, so she will be a little more decisive. For example, when 1 and 3 were fighting, 3 jumped off the boat by herself. At that time, 3 who jumped off the boat will wake up and return to the big world cycle. But when 2 and 3 are fighting, 2 is directly killed 3, and then push her off the ship. So the cycle of the cruise ship is 123,123. Every cycle 3 times, she jumped off the ship by herself 3 will be an escapee. The escapee will return to the big world cycle, with his son out of the car accident, and finally against the promise of death to choose to go back to sea the achievement of his son. This is a logic of the whole film. After watching this movie, it is really wonderful. Highly recommend that you see the original film.